Hi there, this is Les with OfficeTutor.info and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at Microsoft Word uh, 2007 and trying to understand the layout. Now, um, if you'll notice, from, compared to previous versions of Microsoft Word, the layout has completely been changed um, and many people are frustrated by it. Uh, in fact, as I um, am making this video in 2009, um, many people are still uh, frustrated with the Word 2007 release and I do believe Microsoft is already working on Office 2010. Um, however, even with all the criticisms, one needs to realize that um, the way the new Word 2007 has been organized is to make things easier, not more difficult. The transition always is difficult, but uh, once you get used to it, you'll find out that it is so much easier. First and foremost, um, instead of the old file edit um, options, Microsoft has brought down so many options down into one button. And this is very useful. You'll find that um, everything you need, all the basic things are right here. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, again, um, the undo options. Um, well, for example, if I type Office Tutor, I'm going to make that larger so it's not a pain to see. Office Tutor.info. You'll see right now some a new menu has been highlighted. This is a quick menu. You have the undo options right here. You have save. Um, there's a repeat typing option. And there are more options right here. You can actually add more options to that. Let's say I want to add quick print. There you go. The button just shows up right there. Um, again, they're using tabs in, the, in Word 2007. And probably will do that in um, Word Office 2010 as well. Tabs are very useful. Um, the whole purpose behind tabs is to bring together um, features and tools that are most commonly used. So right now in Home, you have all these um, in, all these commonly used features for a Word document. Um, insert things that are commonly inserted. Page layout everything that needs to be done example margins uh, columns orientation size and so on references has um, tables or table contents bibliography um, and uh, everything that you need is on here so again these are tabs and every time you click a tab name it updates the ribbon underneath it so you you have an idea of what comes under the tab now keep in mind that even though the ribbon has all these features over here it's not really showing you everything that's available um, for example this is the font section and there is a separate video on this um, but you'll see that every section in the ribbon has one of these arrows if you click on them you find there are more features here. Again, if you do the same for paragraph, for example, you'll find more features there as well. So the ribbon and the tabs and the quick access toolbar is um, meant to make life easier. And as you get used to it, you'll find out that um, everything is so much quicker to access. Another new feature that uh, Word 2007 has, and you will also find this in OpenOffice uh, 3.1 and newer, is the zoom bar. Now, here you go. If I click this and I drag the slider, you'll find that the page zooms in and out. Very handy. Um, also, you'll find that if I right click on something that's selected or if I right click on the page itself 
you'll find that there are many options right here. The, this is the regular right-click menu. But what's new is this little window right here that lets me change something that's in the context. For example, in this case, the font. So I can actually select this right here, right-click, choose a different font color right here. And there you go. So again, this is a very handy feature. It, it, it's meant to bring menus closer to your, uh, your mouse pointer. Um, another handy feature is that you can right click directly onto a header and edit it right there. So once again, this is Les with OfficeTutor.info. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave us a comment. Thank you.